Mmm, yeah, delicious. Well, you know what British people are like about drinking tea, but that's a very special kind of tea, one of my favorites. Earl Grey. Uh, it's named after Earl Grey, of course. <laughs> and it's scented with oil of bergamot. It gives it that really nice citrusy flavor. But we've got an appointment with bergamot just now. First of all, let me just uh, dismiss statins. You've heard a lot about statins. I want to tell you that categorically, statins are not proved to have any beneficial effect for anybody for any reason. There's minor benefits for somebody who's had a heart attack. But if you're a woman and you've never had a heart attack, trust me, statins are a waste of time. They don't do anything. They're measured to lower cholesterol. But lowering cholesterol has been shown to have no cardiac uh, and uh, vascular benefits whatsoever. In fact, you know, it's come around to where it was in the 1960s, where I was at medical school, uh, that people with higher cholesterol levels live longer. Now, go figure. Hmm. It's actually not very difficult because cholesterol is a fundamental building block molecule that's in all our hormones, you know, testosterone, DHEA, all of those things. Uh, they're all built around cholesterol, and however much cholesterol you eat or don't eat, all that's completely trumped by how much the liver produces. And a healthy liver wants to produce cholesterol. It's good for us. But somehow the pharmaceutical industry has sold us on the idea that everyone has to have statins. If you don't, you're at risk of dying. This sort of phony nonsense is propagated by that fraud, Sir Rory Collins who's actually had the effrontery to demand that the British government intervene and force the withdrawal of scientific papers that show that statins are really not that safe. There's so much baloney published about the safety. He wants it stopped. Now, first of all, the government, of course, knows nothing about medicine. But, you know, he's totally in the pocket of the pharmaceutical industry. And, and they don't want these papers kicking around that point out the disadvantages of statins. Trust me, if you're taking them, stop. You won't come to any harm. Talk it over with your doctor if you must, but really if your doctor is some kind of idiot that still believes in these things, I think you're entitled to plow your own furrow. The point is, there's a lot better things you can do. Statins don't come even close to dietary changes and lifestyle changes in producing benefits for cardiovascular health. But there's an extra trump card we have now, and I just mentioned it right at the top of this video, bergamot. Now, bergamot is a, uh, a plant that grows, well, it grows in many places in the world, but the absolute top quality bee's knees Rolls-Royce bergamot comes from a region called Calabria in southern Italy, right down by the toe of Italy. It's been studied extensively by Professor Malachi at the Italian University in Rome. And he's shown, there have been lots and lots of papers published showing the cardiovascular benefits of this. It can modify your high uh, density lipoprotein and low density lipoproteins in favorable ways. It does all kinds of other cool things too. It's good for the mind, good for the brain. You know, statins are the opposite. One of the biggest complaints with statin is that people get tired, they get foggy brain, and they lose their libido. You know, life seems to have no further meaning. Whereas this stuff, it's almost exactly the opposite. It's really rather exciting. It's got actually anti-aging properties. And you know, I think m my passion for Earl Grey over the decades might be one of the reasons why I'm a pretty young 70-year-old, uh, well, 71-year-old now. Uh, you know, I, I'm hanging on to it. I'm feeling like a young person. I wonder if it's drinking all that Earl Grey tea with the bergamot in it. Anyway, here's the story. Uh, I'm producing or have produced for my subscribers and uh, for people that follow me and care a very special formulation of bergamot uh, for cardiovascular health, but it's also good for liver. You know, one of the big problems we have in modern days is people with fatty livers because obesity leads to fatty liver. And you know, that's the commonest cause of uh, cirrhosis of the liver. People think of alcoholism. Eh, that's only about five or six percent of uh, cases of uh, cirrhosis of the liver. Over 50 percent of cirrhosis comes from this fatty degeneration of the liver, which is caused, quite frankly, by bad diet and bad lifestyle. 
Uh, anyway, there's bergamot and there's bergamot. What you're looking for is that that's been certified with a bergamot polyphenols fraction that's quite high, but certified by Professor Malachi. Uh, and the, the suppliers that I deal with, good friend of mine, they started out down the road here in Las Vegas and they've really taken over the market. They produce some really good quality bergamot extract from Calabria and southern Italy and you're looking for a BPF factor as it's called of about 35 38 percent listen the next round uh, they're already producing 40 percent so the next round that we produce will be at that level too I've got to say this is streets ahead of the usual commercial junk You've even, I'm sad to say, you've got people like uh, Dr. Stephen Sinatra and Julian Whittaker who are knocking out bergamot using the science and saying it's good, but their products are so low in the quality of BPF that they're really not worth taking. They're practically a rip-off. Uh, and I'm sorry to say that, these are very respected people, of course, but they're bound by economic constraints like everybody else, and they're buying the stuff as cheap as they can and selling it to you for as much as you think they can get from you. Uh, I've gone the other way, and I've said, what is the very best, where in the world do we get it, who supplies it, and how is it made? And I've got this now formulated uh, in my product called Bergamot Pro, and this is an exact uh, formula that's been studied and published extensively the science on this exact formula, not a, an approximate formula or a knockoff formula, which is what the other doctors are selling, the exact formula that's gone into the scientific studies. Uh, and I'm very proud to be able to produce it and produce it at a reasonable economic price too. It's wonderful stuff. I take it. It protects your liver. It lowers your blood pressure. It's very good for the brain. Protects the lining inside your arteries so that they're less likely to clot or be damaged. Really, it's quite a miracle. All those stupid claims for statins, which are a waste of time and don't do anything, could all be wiped out and substitute by bergamot that does everything that Big Pharma wishes statins do, but they don't. And of course, it's a simple, natural plant product and plant polyphenols that they can't patent or anything like that. You know, even they, I mentioned the bergamot polyphenols fraction, that's simply a rating, a measure. It's not in any way patented. You can't do that with natural products. But a high BPF like the one that we've got in my formula, Bergamot Pro, is telling you this is the best that's available on the market. You can research it all you like. Make sure you get that proper beep. And by the way, be on, the guard, on your guard against tricksters. I noticed a firm in Australia is selling Bergamot BPF. That's the name of the product, Bergamot BPF. It has zero BPF rating or certification licensing from Pre uh, Professor Molacci, but these people out there are really tricky. But if you want to research, look at all the products that you can find, you'll find that the number one product uh, is the one that I'm offering where the BPF factors are around 37, 38%. Even we're pushing towards 40% now. This is the bee's knees and it's great. I take it. Thank you.